Good morning, this is Deb, and it's time once again for our weekly challenge. So, our weekly challenge for this week, let me adjust this camera a little bit, um, is to use the templates that are in the files. So, in our Facebook group in the files there are there's a um, file that's called template envelope envelope templates so you'll see it there's not very many uh, files in there as yet and <clears throat> so not only can you use these for envelopes but you can decorate them and have an all-inclusive uh, little, a cute little gift or card or um, something like that just to, to have ready so that you can send to your friend or um, include in happy mail or even attach to a uh, journal page. <clears throat> so... The two that I have used is this um, this one, and I don't I don't know exactly what you would call this, but and so let me show you the two that I made, and so this one is this one. So it opens up like this. I put a little piece of Velcro on there and then it opens up the whole way and then inside I put a um, a little um, flip out and of course I've decorated this to look like um, Valentine's um, but it could be birthday it could be you know any anything um, and so back here I have put a pocket and then over here are double pockets and the double pockets are very easy to do um, you just cut a square that is this same size and then you cut it diagonally, corner to corner. And that's your first one. That'll be this one that's on the top. And then the next one, uh, you do the same thing. You have a square. And you come out a quarter of an inch. And then, of course, you'll have to cut those, those long pieces off, those pointy pieces. Um, very easy to do. And... Um, and it just flips flips like that now one thing that you'll need to remember is that um, you'll want to use a double-sided paper uh, because you know both sides will show and you wouldn't necessarily have to use double-sided paper on your pockets and things like that your little decorations uh, but if you do um, one way or another you're going to have a very thick package and so when you go to fold all this up you'll notice that it has folded up I scored it exactly on these lines but because of the thickness of the paper, you are going to have a little bit of a, um, a spine, I guess, for lack of a better word, there. Anyway, so this could be attached. You could glue it down uh, onto a page. You could send it off to someone. Um, this would be a really cute... Um, needle book or a uh, you know how we did our 
romantic swap and we had all of the different threads and things so the threads uh, wound in here would be really cute anyway so uh, that's what I did and then the other one that I used was this one and it was a bigger one <clears throat> and again I just used velcro at the opening and typically what you would do is you would glue you would put glue here and glue it down onto these flaps and then use it as an envelope and then whatever it is would slide out what I did was I made a little booklet and so it opens like this so you could actually write your letter on this page oops <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> glue those on there <laughs> <sighs> um, but you could write your letter on this page and so then it would be all inclusive your letter and your envelope would all be one and then I put a pocket here with some lace and a cute little um, Victorian images little cigarette card and this is another piece of paper that you could write on just to give you an idea of different things that you can do so again it's double-sided um, paper because both sides will sh show and um, You can, um, when you fold it up, you can attach it to your page. You could send it um, just like this. So your weekly challenge <coughs> is to take at least one of those templates <coughs> excuse me and um, be creative on how you um, on how you put them together other than an envelope so um, make them into an all-inclusive uh, creative uh, little um, letter or uh, something like that gift of some sort and um, then post them on our uh, Facebook group and I look forward to seeing Yasi's video because I know that she will uh, do a video that will be so cute and so creative and um, I really appreciate all of you who um, do the the weekly challenges and um, share what you have made uh, that's one of the good things about uh, enjoyable things about um, about having the Facebook group so anyway uh very very quick and easy um project to do and i look forward to seeing what it is that you all make and uh, this is deb and i'll talk to you later bye